in this video, we're going to be looking at ideas around health and safety and also in particular the piece of legislation that relates to health and safety which is the Health and Safety at Work Act from 1974. Our first question of course should be why do we need health and safety at all? And the first reason is very simple, it's about preventing harm. So protecting the health, safety and welfare of employees and customers in a workplace. There are also legal requirements. There's, there are legal reasons why health and safety is important. And these are both for employers and for employees. Firstly, for employers, they need to provide training, protective equipment and welfare facilities for their workers. They also need to identify risks and take steps to prevent injury and illness that might occur in the workplace. And they need to set up emergency procedures. In terms of employees, it's all of our responsibility uh, to be thinking about health and safety in the workplace. We need to take care of our own health and safety. We need to take care of the health and safety of others who might be affected by our actions. Also to cooperate with others on health and safety and not to interfere with or misuse anything that's provided for your own or for others health and safety and welfare in the workplace. So what are the things that we need to do? Lots of this is very common sense. We need to identify different risks and hazards that might occur. So when you're in the workplace Think about what has the potential to go wrong. You need to also understand the substances and the tools that you're working with. You need to take precautions and follow procedures. So that might be about finding the right uh, protective equipment. It might be about um, clamping down a piece of wood that you were about to saw. Uh, or it might be using a ladder properly. All of these different things are different types of precautions and different types of procedures that will already be in place. Also, as an employee, it's important to be uh, looking out and reporting different risks and hazards as you become aware of them. So this really helps to prevent accidents before they happen. Also, it shows that you're being responsible for your own safety and the safety of others around you. And also that you're limiting personal liability. So one of the reasons that uh, health and safety law, it's important to understand, is because there's also uh, the potential to break that law. And that, lead, that might lead to legal action or to litigation of different kinds. Depending on the size of the organisation that you're working with or for, there'll be different policies and procedures that are in place. If you're in an organisation that has less than five employees, these don't need to be written down, but they do still need to be thought about. So these uh, policies and procedures might be things like risk assessments, health and safety policy, uh, this RIDOR, so reporting of injuries, diseases and dangerous occurrences regulations. So this is about uh, what we were just talking a moment ago, about identifying those risks and hazards and reporting and writing down uh, systems of dealing with them. Also, COSH is a word that you might come up against. This is to do with the control of substances that are hazardous to health. So that might be things that uh, give off fumes or that have the potential to damage your skin or your eyes, different things like that. Also, you need to think about public liability insurance. So again, this is thinking about the legal side of health and safety and also the potential of being brought to court or being sued for damages because um, of uh, changes in somebody's health or their well-being. We also need to really be clear about what happens if we're not complying with health and safety regulations. So. The most important of these is really that if we don't, if we're not complying with health and safety, we're putting everyone at risk 
of accidents, of illnesses, of injury and of death. And those are pretty big, you know, pretty life-changing events. Also, we need to look out for uh, the potential to, that we might be fined or prosecuted or that legal action might be taken against us. Also, there are some very simple things that we need to do when we're thinking about health and safety in the workplace. So this is for all of us, really. This is all of our responsibility. We need to be alert and think ahead. So plan out the activities that you're doing and uh, be looking around you for what's going on, what situations are changing. Don't rush or cut corners. Lots of accidents happen when you go into something quite kind of ill-prepared, when maybe you decide to stand on an office chair uh, with wheels on to reach something off a high shelf, uh, when, whereas really you should go and find some steps or a ladder to do that. Also make sure that you've got the right tools for the job and that you know how to use them. So if you're installing a shelf or installing an artwork, something like that, you're going to need to use different hand tools, different power tools. And if you're not sure about how to use them, the chances are that you might uh, use them and injure yourself um, or other people. And that's really something you want to avoid. You need to protect yourself and others and probably also the environment that you're in. So that might be things like protective clothing or it might be if you're working with uh, noisy equipment or with loud sounds, you might want to protect your ears, you might need to protect your eyes or your hands. All of these things, once they're damaged, they can't be replaced and repaired in the same way. So it's really important to prevent those damages in the first place. Take as many precautions as you can. When you finish the job, you need to clear up as soon as possible. So uh, leaving things hanging around or in places where people aren't going to expect them is probably going to cause somebody to trip over them or to you know, encounter them and possibly hurt themselves. And the very last thing, most important thing, if you're not sure in whatever you're doing, just ask. So some of the problems that happen with health and safety are due to uh, people not necessarily understanding what they're doing or maybe using tools or equipment wrongly. So if you're not sure about how something should be done, then uh, just ask. Ask your supervisor, ask your manager and they'll let you know how to do it properly. When you're working with different arts organisations, there are a few types of hazards and risks that you'll see over and over again. One of the really most common things is slips, trips and falls. And whenever, you're, whenever we're talking about health and safety, this kind of comes up over and over again. These are some of the most common things to happen. Also, be careful about your back. So when you're lifting uh, items, packages, objects, Bend your knees, save your back, using the right posture is going to really help you there. Also looking after your back and the rest of your body when you're using computers. So uh, at your workstation, make sure that you've got everything set up properly. Adjust your seat, adjust the height of your monitor and your keyboard and your mouse. All of these kind of repetitive strains are something that's that are increasingly becoming really problematic for people. They're really doing damage to themselves in an office environment. So you want to avoid that for yourself and also for your colleagues. Um, another thing that in the arts you might often be doing is working with hand tools. So you've got the potential for uh, usually less severe injuries than this sign would suggest, but for injuries to your hands, um, to your eyes, to your lungs and to your hearing. So these are all really important things to look out for and to prepare for. What I'd like you to do now is to look around you in your workplace. I want you to look at for the potential risks and the hazards that are around you. Make a list of potential accidents that might happen and think about what would cause these accidents. 
So, um, you know, if there's a big stack of boxes, a potential accident that could happen there is that the boxes topple over and fall onto somebody. So the cause of that accident would be piling up all of those boxes on top of each other um, and working in close proximity to that or those not being secured properly. Think about who might be harmed and how. So sometimes that might be uh, the employees in the workplace, it might be people who come in contact with what you do, so it might be different clients or customers or members of the community that you work with. And think about what could be done to prevent these accidents. So all of these things together go into making risk assessments and that's something that you're going to be doing in a, in a task a little bit later. Also, I want you to find out what policies are already in place at your workplace. So you've probably received some training, you've had some inductions, uh, you should know about different emergency procedures and different things like, like health and safety and risk assessment. And I want you to gather together those different policies so that you've got a really good idea about what you're looking at. 